Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. The period is the 1st till the 12th of June, or whenever you see this, the right time. And I'm, spoke, I'm speaking about love, L-O-V-E, 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 romantic love. And Scorpio, we remember to general reading, so please like it, is it resonates. Oh, how beautiful is that card? Oh, I'm going to take, oh, how beautiful is this? So I was still going to say that I'm going to draw you an oracle card, but there's a miracle of nature. There might be a pregnancy here. A miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. How beautiful is this? A miracle of nature. Oh, that is so beautiful for you, Scorpio. Let's claim that for you. So, welcome to my channel. I'm Avery Nelson, intuitive um, reader. I've been reading tarot since 2002. I thought it was 2001. And then I did the math there that it's 2002, but it doesn't really matter. No need to split hair with that. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscriptions, for your comments, for your donations. It really, really is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. So in this in this reading, I am going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, what's coming towards you. We're going to clarify it. And at the end of the reading, Scorpio, you are going to get the opportunity to ask three questions. And I'm going to draw cards for you. And those three questions do not need to pertain to love specifically. Okay. We're going to use the Rider right Waite Tarot for you to draw your cards for love. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, please? What is it that need to know for love? What is going to benefit them right now? And if you're interested in learning to read the tarot scorpio, there's also a link in the description for my online tarot course. Let's see for Scorpio. Recent past. Just waiting for a card to flip so I can start drawing. I usually wait for one to flip and then I start drawing. Or jump, as it's really called, the jumper. There we go. Jump bang. And look at what a powerful jump it is. All right. So I'm going to draw this for you. Then I'm going to do your, your current energy as well as what's coming towards you. Okay. Awesome stuff. So in your recent past, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, you've got the Page of Pentacles, and you've got the King of Pentacles. Okay. Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. Um, stability looking for a sense of stability open to different ways of stability for some of you it may mean that in the recent past well, let me just move this down because i don't have that much space this could mean that for some of you in the recent past you've really worked at something with someone um this could be a long-term relationship this could be a marriage this could be a high level commitment or connection that you were really working together towards a goal but i feel there were some problems and there may have been some issues that weren't initially addressed and then i felt that you realized that you had to start addressing those you realize that something has to be done um, almost like a reset needed to take place you know um in order to get to this space, this King of Pentacles space, which is that sort of sense of fulfillment. So for some of you, it could be that you kissed and made up, but it could also be for some of you that you kissed and said goodbye. Okay, we're going to look as we go into the reading. You obviously know how that resonates because it's a general reading. In your current energy, oh, how amazing is this? We've got the Eight of um, Cups, followed by the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So I feel some of you have stepped away. You have stepped away. You're in the process of stepping away. You're in the process of um, feeling that, you know, something different on us, who you are. So you're busy stepping away. I feel that you, that you also, there's a sense of peace that is coming within your life. And there may be some offers. Either, you know, the same person want to come back or somebody else says, Hey, Scorpio, how's it going? You know, I'd like to get romantic with you. And you're like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> you know, you might want to reconsider that. Don't just say no right away. Um, energy coming towards, we've got the Three of Cups, beautiful reasons to celebrate. The Seven of Cups, everything is not 100% perfect. And the Queen of Wands, but it can be worked upon. Okay, let's clarify for you. So let's just move this aside for one second. And then we're just going to look at this recent pass for you, first of all. Using the Triple Goddess Tarot to clarify. There's links for all the cards that I used in the description. This card came out. Okay. So, 
we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so even more Pentacles. It starts even clarifying off with Pentacles. Some of you, I feel that this might be, you know, where you're in a connection or, or where you're in a marriage or anything like that, and everybody's like, you hit the jackpot with that one. Oh, look at you. Awesome stuff. But you didn't quite feel that. Okay, um, and I feel that for some of you, it's almost like you didn't want to face the truth. Like you knew this wasn't the best move for you. You knew this connection wasn't fully fulfilling you, but um, you know, you still sort of, you still gave it your best shot over there, you know, which is beautiful, which is admirable. But then we got over here, I also feel for some of you, you may have missed out, maybe said no to an opportunity, to a career move, to a business expansion, anything like that, because you felt you had to be, you know, the good wife, the good husband, the good partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, even child, you know, or, or parent maybe. Um, but so this is a space where you begin to realize here in the recent past that there is more here for you. In a sense, you're kind of selling yourself short. And when you change your mind, obviously the universe got on board as well. So whatever you saw as this high level connection for you, the universe is fully on board with that. All right. Now let's look at your current energy. And this is beautiful energy. All righty. Let's just clarify. Let's see this stepping away, finding inner peace, because I feel for some of you, you are kind of saying to yourself, I don't think I want love right now. I'm good. Can you maybe just leave me alone? I just want to sort of, you know, namaste you on my own. Just leave me alone. Don't want no love at the moment. But this is the magician. The magician says to you, you know what? Yes, when you step from one thing, you step into more. It is reminding you that... You know, when you recognize what doesn't fully honor you and doesn't sort of value who you are, this the, this magician over here, you look at those beautiful bubbles going up. It reminds you as you step away from what doesn't fully serve you anymore, you actually also step towards what is serving you. Okay, so the two go hand in hand together. So you might be stepping into a beautiful connection over here that, you know, and for some of you, you may feel that you don't really want to open yourself to love again because you tried it, it didn't work. But that, that connection, I feel that you had was a necessary connection for you to learn very important lessons for where you're going to go next. So here you've got the, um, the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. Now this is really good because this is you going for what you want, but with the Knight of Swords, you, uh, sorry, the Knight of Cups, my apologies, you also want to be careful because this can sometimes be that we get so into our emotions that we almost lose ourselves in it. So be careful of that, Scorpio, okay? Um, yes, maybe they've done you wrong, um, maybe they dishonored you, but also be careful that you don't become that person that almost begins to um, associate with their heartache and the disappointment and what they did to you so much that it almost becomes your new identity because that is not the best identity to have, you know. Um, even though I never tried to lead you, I will tell you that much. That is not the best identity to have. <laughs> All right, so yeah. This connection coming towards you, this connection over here in your current space, which may have happened or may be in the space of happening. Um, now, I understand that some of you want to close one door before you move to the other door, but you want to consider if you haven't already closed that door, then in the recent past. Okay? Some of you have already closed the door, and this is why this connection is coming through for you. All right. Let's see what's coming towards you. What do we have coming towards Scorpio for love, please? What do they need to know? Spirit guides and guardian angels, please share your messages. Please show Scorpio what they need to know. Okay, okay. So, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ten of Swords with the Three of Cups. Yeah. This is you going forward. Some of you have felt very sorry for yourself. You're like, oh, poor me. Poor, poor, poor me. That's poor. That might be where some of you are at the moment. Poor me. My relationship didn't work out. Nothing ever works out for me. I feel so sorry for myself. Poor me, poor me, poor me. 
you you're letting that sorry almost sort of attitude that's holding you back that some of you are having at the moment that some of you brought from the recent past at the moment you 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 letting go of that now obviously there's nothing wrong with feeling emotions and pain and, and those things you know that you are human but be careful that it doesn't become almost sort of like the mantle that you wear all right um yeah with the seven of cups is clarified sorry the six seven of cups as is clarified by the six of cups um this is a space where you're going to go forward that lets you know there will be problems before you look at the other person you might want to look at yourself because maybe there's something in yourself that you still need to work on okay um and then for the queen of wands and the eight of cups my scorpius my scorpius my scorpius i'm going to be honest with you this i feel that you're entering even though you are encouraged to enter the situation maybe that's why there's a hesitation you're going to have to use your own discernment over here. But I do also sense that, you remember that initial step away that you had in the beginning? This could either be you having another separation, you know, there with a beautiful full moon over there as well, um, towards more. Um, but I feel there's a big lesson here that you need to learn with this possible new connection that you're getting involved with. I'm not getting clarity whether this is a good match for you or not. Let's just draw you... I saw the three of cups over there as well. Did you see that now when the cards open? Let's see what we have. Just one card. The hero fun. This is you going to a next level. This is you going to a next level. Okay. Let's address your three questions for you, Scorpio. So remember three questions that is on your mind. Doesn't have to pertain to love. Ask your three questions and we'll see what comes out for you. I see beautiful lights for you. Sort of like a like a starry sky or maybe like like an LED light like some glitters lots of abundance I see for you and even though it's a love reading when I get a vision like that when they show it to me I want to share it with you okay, okay. so first question it says within the next few months okay within the next few months Scorpio question number two what is the second question that you have Scorpius I, I thought a card came out was I did you guys see that? Was it this one? Okay, I'm not sure. I literally felt a card fall out. And literally for just a moment, I looked away. Like just for a split second, I looked away and I was like, where's the card? I'm literally still looking around. <laughs> okay, there we go. Second message, a peaceful resolution. This one has been coming out quite a bit, which is beautiful. And oh, third question. Ooh, romance romance for you scorpio how beautiful is that i loved it i loved it i loved it okay hope that helps see you next time bye